Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you saw on my Instagram, I have decided to try to move my diet to be more plant-based and um, just kind of like more vegan, gluten-free. Like I'm just trying to eat better, I think. I've decided, I've self-diagnosed myself. I think I have a slight gluten intolerance because I just get really bad stomach aches the majority of the time that I eat. And I've been trying to eat better, trying to like cut out gluten and all that kind of stuff. Um, as I said in my past videos, I just haven't been doing a very good job. So I really think where I struggle is I just don't know what to make. Like I don't know what to buy, I don't know what to make. And I'm the kind of person, like if I don't have recipes and a good variety of recipes, I'm not gonna keep up with it. So I asked you guys on Instagram, for some yummy recipes and resources and all that good stuff so i wanted to one share with you the stuff that you guys shared with me in case you were wondering and you wanted those resources too and two i wanted to show you what i got at the grocery store and do a little like healthy grocery haul for you so i'm just gonna try to do both at the same time the first thing that i was recommended that i found really helpful that i bought that i'm obviously gonna have to wait for, to come in is called it's a book called eat more plants um by desiree nelson and it has over 100 recipes for a plant-based living so i'm gonna well i ordered that another book is called the woman code and it's basically about how a lot of us have hormonal imbalances but we can actually heal those with the food and things that we put into our body so i got that because i found that was really interesting there's this app called tasty and if you go on it you can search vegan recipes and i found some super super yummy looking i don't know if they're yummy tasting but yummy looking vegan recipes and it's really cool because if you add it to your list then it will like make a grocery list for you which i find really helpful um there are a lot of sites cookie and kate was a site that a lot of people recommended um she has an ins there's an instagram for that and like a website to find the recipes on as well i think cookie and kate also has like cookbooks which could be really helpful for you guys caitlin shoemaker was something that someone recommended and pick up limes um apparently they have videos on youtube that are really really helpful she glows cookbook was recommended a lot um it has a lot of gluten-free plant-based recipes um, a lot of people said, oh, kalejunkie.com was another one. Um, and then a lot of people just said that they really like tofu. They like sweet potatoes, black beans, and quinoa bowls, beyond burgers. Just kind of the typical stuff that you would uh, think of. Um, I'm just trying to tell you the more like app and um, account-based recommendations because I find that super helpful when you have something that's like more of a constant um another person was tabitha brown um she apparently has a lot of good really yummy recipes um and of course i guess you can always look on pinterest i like kind of struggled to find stuff on pinterest i felt like it was all the same so all these rec recommendations were super helpful and hopefully they'll help you guys too i'm definitely ordering some of the books some of the cookbooks because i love cookbooks just because i'm not very like creative on my own in the kitchen so i like the cookbooks and now I'm going to show you some of the things that I got from the grocery store. I'll start with this bag. One of the things that I got was um, dried fruit. I looked up online like top 10 must have things if you're vegan like in your pantry. And one of the things on there was dried fruit and I love dried fruit. So I just got the Honeycrisp Fast apple <laughs> and strawberries. And I think I got a mango one. I'm not sure. I don't remember. So I got those two. All of this I got at Trader Joe's and it was only $70, which I feel like is pretty good. Um, I got a variety of peppers. You can kind of see them through here. I actually dropped these two. Like I was, when I was picking up the peppers, these fell off <laughs> like the carousel and landed on the floor. And I didn't want to just leave them there. I didn't want to put them back up for other people to grab. And I also really didn't want to bother <laughs> the workers. So I just bought them. <laughs> um i don't know if anyone else is like that but i am i also got these um whole wheat tortillas i'm actually really not sure if these have gluten in them but i figured whole wheat is probably better than like the normal and i'm not trying to like 100 percent cut it out i'm not 100 percent going vegan like i'm not doing that i'm just trying to make 
as much change in my diet as I possibly can. So I got whole wheat tortillas to make these really yummy quesadillas that my friend Katie told me about. It's like a black bean sweet potato quesadilla and it sounded so good. And I think I'm probably gonna make that for dinner. So I bought these. Um, what else is in here? I got nutritional yeast cause that was also on the list of things to have. You can just sprinkle it on a lot of things. Um, it has like a cheesy flavor according to this, but it's rich in B vitamins, including B12. Um, it boosts your nutrients intake too. So it's just like an easy way to make sure I'm getting everything that I need is to just sprinkle some nutritional yeast on it. Um, and then I got almond meal because that was on the list for some of the recipes. So I bought that. Um, I also got grape tomatoes cucumbers actually these are zucchinis but i also did get cucumbers grape tomatoes 100 percent organic maple syrup and some ginger to use and gray that's it for bag number one spinach arugula got portobello mushrooms i love mushrooms i'm not i know not everyone's a mushroom person kyle hates mushrooms i got fresh cilantro i got some limes um, this is the cucumber <laughs> i got some frozen corn and i actually got this non-dairy um vanilla ice cream that's made with almonds i've never had like a vegan ice cream before this was literally the only one trader joe's has i think i really need to go to sprouts because sprouts has a ton 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 of like vegan options so i'm probably gonna go there later this week but um i just wanted to go to one place today throw those in there and then i also got honey crisp apples and then one of the recommendations from someone was Trader Joe's vegan pesto sauce, so I got that to try. And then I've actually had this before and I think it's really good. It's this cashew fiesta dip. It's basically like the vegan alternative to cheese, like um, queso, and it's actually really good. I've had it before, so I rebought that. And then in the last bag, we have, oh, see, I did get another one. I got mango, like I said. More freeze dried fruit. I got some bananas. I have avocado. This is actually squash, zucchini squash. So I got some of that. I got a bunch of lemons because I like lemon water too, and I use lemon a lot when I cook. Some sweet potatoes. I feel like sweet potatoes are like a vegan staple food. Like they're, I feel like, in a majority of things, and I love sweet potatoes. Then I also got just like one yellow onion few of the recipes called for a yellow onion so i just bought one i figured it would work and the very last thing i got which you know it's in a can but it is eggplant with tomatoes and onions one of the recipes calls for an eggplant i personally just like it's a lot when you have to like cut up fresh produce all the time and sometimes i just want it to be quick and easy and i honestly wanted to keep my bag to my bags to three because i didn't want to make multiple trips up and down the stairs so instead of getting an eggplant i just bought this so hopefully that works those are all the things that i got from the grocery store some of the stuff i already had like chickpeas i already had black beans i already had like all the variety of beans i already had coconut milk i already have um and all that kind of stuff are just things that I kind of already had that I didn't, how many times can I say already had? Are things that I had that I didn't need to repurchase right now because I still have a lot of it. Brown rice is something I still have a lot of that I didn't need to rebuy. Um, so yeah, also I have the, um, these, the Bonza pasta. Um, a lot of people recommended this too. I actually have already been eating this and I really, really like it. Um, so I've been using this for my pasta lately, which has been really good for my, <laughs> my tummy. Anyways, yeah, that is all the stuff I got. I'm really excited to cook and make my first few meals this week. Um, all of this is going to last me a majority of the week because when I cook, I usually have like left a lot of leftovers and it can last me two or three more meals. So I only really need to cook a handful of meals. So all this is going to last me for a really long time really long time like this week because um, a lot of this is produce that needs to be eaten or at least cooked 
Um, so maybe that's what I'll do later. I'll meal prep for this week um, just to make it really easy. But anyways, I just wanted to tell you guys the resources that you told me that were really, really helpful and show you guys what I got because who doesn't love a good grocery haul? Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna, <laughs> I wanna show you guys. Here's what it look, my counter looks like. Just groceries everywhere. <laughs> Ignore that. I'm gonna put all these away. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I seriously appreciate every single one of you that takes the time to watch my videos and watch them all the way through the end. While you're here, don't be afraid to subscribe, to check out my other videos, to so turn on your post notifications. Feel free to head over to Instagram and follow me there. It's the only social media I have outside of YouTube. So yeah, feel free to follow me on there and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.